Hello the internet, it is Sunday the 3rd of October 2021 and welcome back to the channel. I've got a little bone to pick here with the YouTube reviewers who are reviewing the Hero 10 from GoPro and the overheating issue. Now before we go any further, I am a surfer, I do surf with two GoPro Hero 9s and your backdoor floaty. My main concern is this overheating issue. I found this channel today, by the way, these are still wet from today's surf. I found this channel today from a guy called David Manning. Now, first major, major criticism with this guy. This man literally has a surfboard as a prop in his studio, yet he's reviewing a GoPro Hero 10 and he didn't use the surfboard. So, this idea that it's overheating when it's sitting on a table and I know he did the opened it up and put it on a tripod and did all the things like that and here's the thing though the GoPro is quite literally an action camera that was originally designed for surfing you have a surfboard right there in your studio and you didn't think to use it to test this overheating I want to see a YouTube reviewer clarify if you press start on the record and you go surfing for an hour till the battery drains, will this thing shut down shooting in one of the higher resolutions? Maybe not 5K, but definitely 4K 120, right? Or whatever the max lens mod will allow. At this stage, you only get 2.7K on the Hero 9 with the max lens mod. Will that be the same when they upgrade the firmware? We don't know. The reason I say press start and then the battery drains all the way through the surf now, I know he addressed this and uh, he had a message back from GoPro saying, well, throughout all our research, we found that uh, one minute is approximately the average time that users record for. Well, I'll dispel that myth. That's incorrect. Why is that incorrect? If you're using multiple cameras, including a beach camera, this is the solo shot. If you're using a multi-camera setup and you're surfing, so this guy's recording from the beach, this guy's recording my point of view, and this guy's recording the front of the board, right? You need to be able to sync that crap up. So what I do, and I'm sure most other surfers that record long form do, on the beach, done your warm ups, camera on, camera on, camera on, recording, audio clap. In a visual sense and an audio sense. The reason you do that, when you come back from your surf, you align those three clips up in Final Cut with the audio snap, and then you can skim through easily, grab the bit that's got the wave, keep that bit, get rid of that, blah, 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 blah. You do that every day. It's much, much, much easier than trying to skim through and find that bit, try to match it up to that bit, try to match it up to that bit. I know they've got quick record, doesn't work. You just have to press record once and then let it fly. Now, as a surfer, that's what I do with the Hero 9s. And these guys record until the battery dies. I've got the setup where the back is on. So the back screen goes off and the front screen just displays numbers on, I think it's 40% um, brightness. So I'm doing everything I can to maximize the battery. You get about an hour and eight, an hour and 10 minutes roundabout. No one on YouTube is talking about that. Like, why are these flaming yahoos that are reviewing the Hero 10s not taking them surfing? They're me <laughs> It's comical, isn't it? They're literally a, a camera that was designed for surfing and everybody's got them on their table. Oh, it's overheating in 5.3K and it only gets 20 minutes. Wouldn't it be rad to see what this thing does in the water? I mean, you've got a freaking surfboard right there, dude. Did you not think to use it? Like, come on, man. Come on. And by the way, I was going to upgrade to the Hero 10s until this overheating issue has plagued itself. I do have another issue, quick side note. I'm not sure what's going on with this. Um, this is all corroded. One of the um, feet is corroded. Now people will say, oh, but you gotta clean it after your surf. Of course you clean it after your surf. These are still wet from today's surf. The whole thing gets cleaned in the tub after a surf. It's not, it's not salt water. It's just corroded on one leg. This is, this is the second GoPro Hero 9 that I bought. I bought two of these together. The original one of this caught fire. I made a video about it, literally caught fire and GoPro faffed around for nine months. 
before they sent me a replacement. Nine months it took them. They were claiming COVID. Of course they were, but nine months of faffing around. And I said, hey, because you faffed me around for that long, could you give me like a 40% discount? I mean, I'll, I'll buy the Hero 10s and get out there and use them for surfing and I'll be able to report back, not like this Yahoo. And GoPro said no. They flat out said, no, sir, we're not going to offer you any compensation. We kept your GoPro for nine months and you want to buy another one with a discount from us? No, we're not doing it. So I'm a, I'm a little bitter. Mind you, these two, the Hero 9s with the max lens mods, these are perfect, right? What what? Aside from the 4K uh, 120, which we don't even know will work with the max lens mod, right? We don't know. And if you're surfing and you're on a performance board, it's quite short. You need all of the super view, right? If you're on a Mal, you can have this thing like way, way away. But if you're on a performance board, it's going to be quite close to you. So you need the super view. So you need the max lens mod. At this stage, you can't use the max lens mod on the Hero 10. So I'm not really upset that I haven't got a Hero 10. The overheating issues until someone can actually clarify, and I don't mean old mate here with a surfboard which he refuses to use. I don't mean this guy, David. I don't know. I don't know you, dude. I don't watch your content, but I stumbled upon that video, and my goodness gracious me, I had to. I had to get up and walk away. I was like, dude, are you going to use that surfboard? Tell me you're going to use it. And I'm. Um, you kept. You kept saying in that video, watch to the end. Watch to the end. Watch. I'm like, dude, I please, please, please take that surfboard out and go surfing. Please, please, please. And you didn't. Crazy, right? YouTube. Imagine reviewing um imagine reviewing a kite and not flying it. I've got this great kite here from Kites R Us. It comes with nylon with the great twine and it's got a beautiful layout here. The template of how to set it all up, it's awesome. You didn't fly it, dude. Oh nah, nah, we're not gonna fly it. That's the equivalent. That's the equivalent. That's why I'm flustered, that's why I'm frustrated. I think I'm gonna go out for a second surf. That's gonna fix this, right? A second surf. I'm going surfing. I'm gonna put these back in here and get out of here. Let's get out of here and go surfing. Yeah.